you know, if I weren't, if I weren't me, um, if I were like some like blonde haired, blue eyed girl, maybe I'd be a socialite, like a really sad socialite. Yeah, um, well I grew up in Lincoln, Massachusetts, and we were the only interracial family in the vicinity. I didn't really know where I belonged, um, and there was a switch at some point when suddenly I wanted to be completely white. And so it was just like back and forth, wanting to be a complete you know, person, um, whether it was Chinese or white. So I guess I started painting when I was in high school. Um, I had a teacher who basically gave me oils and was just like, go for it. And my mother was at the time working in um, Sumie and also oils. So I guess the basics of it, I just kind of picked up over maybe three years of high school. As a painter, I would say I was, I've been aesthetically drawn to kind of the, who I call like the figurative staples. So. Uh, Gustav Klimt, Francis Bacon, Egon Schiele, uh, Lucian Freud, um, Maria Lasnig, Marlene Dumas. But also, equally, I would say my influences are, are literary. I've been really attracted to uh, Cocteau's writings, and I think that the kind of poetic disassociations that I see in, you know, even, even in the way that Francis Bacon interviewed, I think I'm just as inspired by his words as by his images. So it's been kind of like a, a crossover, like an internet age crossover of influences. In all of, my, in all of my painting, I've kind of relinquished authority over knowing anything about the medium because it's been such an unstudied practice for me. And so whenever I see an artist who I greatly admire, who has a very defined style, say that, you know, the, the, the majority of his work is, or the majority of his compositions are just attributed to, you know, being really frustrated and taking a cloth and wiping it away and all of a sudden arriving at something that's a composition. I think that I find like a, like faith in that or I kind of, I, I see that there's a possibility and, and never really feeling completely comfortable in what I'm doing, but still being able to arrive at something that is complete. I think my generation is a little bit anachronistic because it's kind of like everything's, everything's been said and we have access to, or I think there's a collective memory now where you, know, you, can, you can tap into Wikipedia and just see all the, the great thinkers before and what they said and kind of, it gets summed up in this very accessible format. It's really hard at my point to say anything new and to have any authority over anything because everything's been said. Um, so it kind of becomes a little bit of a self-involved sentiment. I just feel like my authority is over me personally. And how can, I, how can I use that as a metaphor to maybe, you know, draw a few connections to other people? And instead of saying something new, saying something very personal and having that be my point of departure. I think that painting in and of itself, the reason why I do it is because it's such a hands-on malleable medium, but it still allows for so much, um, so much that I don't know. Like, you know, each brush has so many bristles and you can't control all of them. And it's, it's a way to relinquish control, whereas in every other thing, I feel like I'm too cerebral. Um, I really do, I really am fascinated and I really do love people, um, but it's, it's such a voyeuristic way to love because in a sense, it's, it's, it's like, I really like to never have to talk to that person or interact with him or her, but to just sit there and watch is everything for me. And whether my understanding is completely, you know, off the wall of what that person or what people in general are like, it's, it's a certain kind of love that I have. And if that reflects my work, it's because that ends up being what I'm drawn to. And I think that I have spent a lot of my time watching people and seeing them when they're unconscious of what they're doing. And that's when I find them most beautiful. 
my dream would be um, creating work that is apt for inspiring meaning, no matter what it is, arbitrary meaning or, or you know, someone, else is, someone else could look at it and say, oh, I know exactly what that is and I don't care. I just want it to inspire, I guess.